Today we're gonna make a really nice and simple vegetarian four cheese lasagna and it's gonna be really awesome and the preparation is so simple all you need is to have all your elements in line and this is gonna be a breeze let's get started so let's first get started and prepare our actual tomato sauce this is gonna be a really nice and different spin on my regular marinara sauce which I will link down below you may use that instead of this new version if you like. To make the marinara sauce, put your can of San Marzano tomatoes into a blender and then add in some garlic and Calabrian chili peppers. You can find these chilies easily at any Italian grocery store. What's great about it is it's kind of spicy and kind of sweet at the same time and it has a really nice kind of warm sweet spicy flavor into the actual marinara. Now blitz that all up you don't want to puree it just give it a few whizzes and then transfer that into a pan and then add in some of your passata or strained tomatoes now all you have to do is season this with a bit of salt then bring this up to a simmer and then gently simmer this until the sauce thickens a bit and you give the tomatoes some time to become sweeter as it simmers down as soon as the sauce is kind of sweet and it's nice and flavorful it has thickened lightly then you can just set that aside and we can go on to our next element now we'll make a nice bechamel sauce but this time around we're gonna have a variation on the bechamel and make a garlic parmesan bechamel so to get that started melt some butter in your pan and then add in some chopped or crushed garlic let that sweat a little bit and let the rawness of the garlic get cooked out and then add in your flour. Let that flour cook out now as well and make a nice roux which is the flour and butter mixture and cook that out until the flour has a bit of a nutty aroma. As soon as that happens add in some cold milk into your pan and with a whisk start mixing it bits of milk at a time not all at once and keep whisking until you have no lumps and you've added all of your milk. Now you wanna wait for it to come up to a simmer because as soon as that's gonna happen, it's gonna start to thicken. Then season it with some salt and some freshly grated nutmeg. And as soon as the sauce has reached a thick consistency, thick enough that if you dip the back of a spoon into that pan and you kinda of swipe that sauce away with your finger, it would not drip down, it would not cover that spot you just wiped that's the perfect level of thickness when that happens turn that heat off and then generously grate all of your parmesan or if you want pecorino romano into that sauce give it a final mix and it'll be done and remember to only mix that cheese in once that pan is off of the heat great so now we have our marinara ready and our bechamel ready now let's boil some water to make our actual lasagna noodles. And while that's boiling, preheat your oven at 400 Fahrenheit. Now you don't want to be stuck in a situation where your lasagna noodles get stuck as they're boiling in the pot to the point where you can't separate them and you have to just start over. So what I'd like to do to make sure it never gets stuck is to boil the noodles in batches. And I'd usually do about five to six sheets of lasagna at a time and make sure the water is at a rolling boil and make sure that boil level never goes down. Now as your noodles start to get cooked, transfer them into a cold bowl of water while the rest of your noodles get ready. Now you can go as many layers as you want but for me I think four layers is just the perfect amount. So now start layering your lasagna by spreading a bit of your marinara sauce on the bottom of your casserole. Then line up your lasagna noodles and make sure you have a bit of an overlap between each sheet. Trim any excess noodle on the corners as needed and then top the first layer of the noodles with some more of the marinara sauce. Then top that with your bechamel sauce. Then, then we want to sprinkle in our cheese. So I'm using mozzarella, Swiss and provolone. Now this is a great combination to have the best cheesy experience and some nice nice cheese balls now once you've topped your cheese mozzarella provolone and swiss then repeat 
the layers to as many layers as you want by adding some more of your lasagna sheets, then marinara sauce, bechamel sauce, cheese, and so on. And when you add your last layer, then top it up with your final layer of marinara sauce, bechamel sauce, and then a generous, and I mean generous amount of cheese on top. And as soon as that's done, transfer it to the middle rack of your oven. Now bake this until the top of that cheese is a light golden brown and the sides of that lasagna has a light crust. That's going to help make sure that the lasagna is warmed all the way throughout and you don't have any cold spots. And as soon as that is done, you have to resist and let that lasagna sit for about 10 minutes once it's outside that oven. When it's fresh out the oven, it's too hot, it's too bubbling for you to be able to properly cut it and have that perfect layer when you do lift and serve your lasagna. And once you've let it rest, just simply cut the lasagna into as many portions as you want and then lift it with the thinnest spatula you can find. And then here you go. Here's a nice four cheese lasagna. And for me, it's just like having a pizza, but instead of having a bread as the base, it's pasta and that is awesome. So let me know if you like this recipe. Let me know if you're gonna make it. Let me know if you find it difficult because trust me, it's not. It's just a lot of small elements that come together to make this beautiful dish. For more recipes just like this one, be sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.